Mesa Verde National Park. Why Mesa Verde is a great for kids. Number one, rich in historical um, significance and they can feel the people who once lived here. What, number two, why doesn't, who doesn't want to live higher on a cliff as a kid? Number three, easy hikes for two spectacular viewpoints. Number four, quick stops to stroller accessible ground sites. Number five, there are photo opportunities at every turn and stop. Mesa Verde National Park was established by Congress and Theodore Roosevelt in 1906. Located in the southwest corner of Colorado near Cortez, it is at, at elevations ranging between 6,000 and 8,500 vertical feet. The area is known for the cliff dwellers that inhabited it in the area for 700 years until the late 1200s. What is not as widely known is that people have been living in the area since 7,500 BC, and they have developed many sites over time. There are more than 5,000 sites, including 600 cliff dwellings in the park. We had one day to uh, tour Mesa Verde, so we did as much as we could. Fast. Mesa Verde includes a lot of driving. It is an hour drive from the visitor center to Step House. From Balcony House to Step House is a 45-minute drive. We only had time to go to the Balcony House, Cliff Palace, Bruce Tree House section of the park. It is 45 minutes from the visitor center to the balcony house, or a 25-mile 25 25 drive, including many hills, turns, and switchbacks. We were surprised to see Class A motorhomes make the ascent. Like any place, parking is limited for the big rigs. As you drive through the park, you will be not notified of different forest fires by s signs on the side of the road. Many pay attention to how these areas are starting to flourish again. Be the er, be on the lookout for wildlife. Our second son saw this mom and kid below uh, on our trip. He had a good eye. For view sites in a group of dwellings on the ground that is accessible with a brief walk from the parking area. Many of the sites, like far view sites, have limited parking, so beware. You may have challenges when going during peak times. There is a main dwelling here and also a nice hike through the trees to Farview Tower and Farview Reservoir, a National Historic Cliff or Civil Engineering Landmark Site. The trail ends with Megalithic House. The, the treasure of these sites are that they are on the ground and easily accessible with paved trails and peaceful walks. Soda Canyon Overlook Trail is a 1.2 mile easy trail with a 100 foot elevation gain. The footing is solid with small stone rock and can be navigated with a jogging stroller and a little and a little lifting. The hike provides natural views along the way. Trees and brush line trail and provide de depth to explore while walking to the viewpoint. The trail leads to three overlooks to view Balcony House and Soda Canyon. Sun Temple is a quick stop. The parking is again limited, however there is parallel parking for big RVs and trailers. The temple sits on the edge of the canyon and is thought to be a astronomical observatory. A picture of the temple overlooking the canyon is, is below. We had a special encounter. Our oldest for his fifth grade project made a kiva out of clay. We took the kiva from Michigan to Utah and shared, took it to the visitor center as we walked up one of the rangers who was half native approached us. I'm sure it was due to his project. He, we walked or we talked about the project and why we were excited to see Mesa Verde. We, he judged us to make sure his nest or his next comments were safe and sp spend the next 20 minutes discussing stories of his ancestors past. We discussed the creator and the purpose of the kiva and, and seppuku. At the time we walked, we talked, I expected to see a few kivas. Every location had kivas. It was their main focal point and so different they took 
time to build one at every location. We still, we will cherish this conversation in our time at Mesa Verde. There is a little more parking at Spruce Tree Canyon Trail, where you can get wonderful views of Spruce Tree House. Also located here, you will find museums, rangers, office, and a cafe. The trail is 2.4 miles with 675 feet of elevation gain. The pictures and words really don't describe the park well. As you drive there, our viewpoints everywhere the park has many canyons and you can only see a few. Each dwelling is unique in its own way. Through the architecture details, you can see their construction methods develop over time. In person, you are more amazed and clueless as to how they lived in the cliffs. The vertical feet from the cliff to the canyon floor or to the cliff top is only understood in person. Mesa Verde is a magical place. In summary, there was more to see at Mesa Verde than expected. The pit house were a nice surprise to be able to walk around Kivos and residences and see the details well preserved, well unexpected, and worth the trip. At every site, we wondered and dreamed about what life was like for these people. Why did they move to the cliffs? Why did they leave? We were, again, left wanting more. Hopefully, on our trip to the Grand Canyon, we will make another stop at Mesa Verdes and explore some of what we missed. Let us know what questions you have as you plan your trip to Mesa Verde.